हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ब्रिज कोर्स फॉर कॉर्डेट बायोलॉजी व्हाट इज मीन बाय कॉर्डेटा द एनिमल व्हिच हैव नोटोकॉर्ड इन देयर बॉडी सर इन इन देयर बॉडी इज इंक्लूडेड इन कॉर्डेटा एंड सच अ टाइप ऑफ बायोलॉजी इज कॉल्ड एज कॉर्डेट बायोलॉजी इन पास्ट वीडियोस वी हैव कंप्लीटेड अवर डिस्कशन ऑन एगनाथा डिवीजन व्हिच इंक्लूड साइक्लोस्टोमेटा क्लास we also got information on nathostomata which consists of two super classes pisces and then tetrapoda what are the salient features of pisces what are their example we know very well in today's video we will dis- we will start our discussion on tetrapoda super class tetrapoda means what the animal which have four limbs such animals included in super class tetrapoda this tetrapoda is divided into four class they are amphibia reptilia avs and mammals in today's video we will start our discussion on the general characteristic of amphibia and reptilia and at the end of this video you all are able to understand you can compare the characteristic difference between amphibia and reptilia so let us start what is the general characteristic of amphibia actually amphibian animals or amphibia means what they can live both on land as well as in water they are ectothermic animals and uh, they are found in warm environment their body is divided into head and trunk this um, it means that neck is absent the skin is smooth and uh, rough without any scales but with the glands that make it moist which type of glands present in the epidermis of that uh, amphibian animal that is a mucus gland who secrete mucus and uh, no doubt they have no paired fins because they consist of limbs rather than there are again many more characteristic of amphibia due to amphibia due to which such animals belong to uh, class amphibia means uh, they are poikilothermic poikilothermic means what they uh, that is simply called as cold blooded animal cold blooded animal means they can change their body temperature with respect to environment temperature understand after that uh, sexual reproduction sexual dimorphism is well marked and uh, they are oviparous right so these are some general characteristic of amphibia with the help of these slides we can understand what are the examples of class amphibia see this is bull frog then spotted salamander then toad green in color newt these are some examples of amphibia understand after that let us understand what are the general characteristic of reptilia reptilia is commonly called as crawling animals means jala apan sarpatnare prani asa mantu what are the general features these are creeping and burrowing terrestrial animals with scales on their body means the body surface is rough this is one of the compare characteristic with respect to amphibia amphibian body is glandular and smooth we can say like oily and reptilian body is scaly means it is a rough this is one comparative characteristic they are cold blooded animal like amphibian animal means a poikilothermic i means they can change their body temperature with respect to atmosphere temperature the skin is dry and rough without any glands yes and the body is divisible into head neck trunk and tail few of these shed the scales on their skin as a skin cast the process is called as cast molding the respiration takes place with the help of lungs and the skull is monocondylic what is mean by monocondylic if you see anatomical structure of skull of the reptilian animal uh, at the posterior distal part of the skull only one uh, occipital condyle is present for the attachment of at 
atlas vertebrae of the vertebral column hence it is called as monocondyle they have two pairs of pentaductile limbs each bearing claws claws for what purpose you know for respiration means some reptilians are present in water can swim so claws help uh, for that snakes are an exceptional yes snakes um, lack uh, uh, you can say limbs mature snake but uh, interesting thing is that if you see embryological study of snake the study of snake snake is called as serpentology aur agar aap iska embryological study karte ho to iske embryo mein snake ke embryo jab snake embryonic condition mein rehta hai tab usko limbs rehte hai later on they get degenerate and snake move with the help of belly so if one of the student ask me questions sir snakes have no limbs then how uh, it include in a Uh, class uh, reptilia or super class tetrapoda so answer to this con condition in the embryological development snake have four limbs later on they get degenerated regarding heart heart is a three chambered uh, some reptilian show three and half chamber crocodile have four chamber heart and the lateral line system is absent in reptilian animal these are also um, what Uh, sexual reproduction is well marked and uh, sexual dimorphism is also well marked they are oviparous as well as viviparous uh, i can um, i can say one examples of viviparous that is uh, uh, you can say russell viper that is viviparous and uh, there are some examples for you snakes turtle lizards crocodiles these are not only few examples a lot of reptilian you can see in everyday life Uh, there are some examples i show in slides see that is crocodile snake then after uh, to turtle tortoise right etc etc okay so in today's video what we discuss about uh, we got information about amphibia and reptilia and on many characteristic you can compare amphibia and reptilia as well Uh, thank you so much in the next video we will discuss about another two class thank you